When I was young, the loyalist conspiracy that kidnapped me also took Anton Sokolov. They brought him to the pub where I was being held and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? Sokolov laughed at them. He taught me lessons and told me funny stories. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued, he doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I thought he'd tell me the secret to defeating Delilah and saving the Empire. But I'm not even sure he knows where he is. A dream, was it? Am, Am I, I to blame, blame for Delilah's bitterness? No. She's the one who orchestrated the coup. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight, and I feel my time drawing to an end soon. his age, Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. Good to see you're still with us. Thank you for helping, Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, He'll undo my best efforts here. Then we'll have to make sure Duke Luca Abel doesn't overstay his welcome. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed, whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. I appreciate your thoughts on the matter, Alexandria. Problem. It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever man. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Emily did for me, freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try, Megan. They kept me going after they gave me to Jindosh. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Anton, when I brought you back, you could barely speak. But it's been three days. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne, and my father is... missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, 
But Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sirkonos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of? Or what she's up to? There's a spark in your eyes. Something other than hate, which surprises me given all that's happened. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon.
We used to make good money here until all the Grand Guard shut down. So things aren't bad enough. Now I have to be on the lookout for some no good of the night. Why not? Maybe you get to meet your higher self. Time to pay the price if you want to live. Oh no, please! I have nothing! I'm just a poor maid! I see you've heard the stories about Pirate Betty, about all the terrible things I've done to the fools who refuse to give up some trinket or a bag of coins. Have mercy! Don't hurt me! Should I start by cutting off your nose? Help! Anyone help me! Or maybe I could sign my name across your forehead with a knife. Use you as a human billboard. Help! Murderer! <sighs> All right, no one's coming. What about... Oh, huh? shit. What was that? Uh... Please take a look around. We have the best wares for discerning guests such as yourself. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. I'll think about it. See anything you like? Welcome back. Please. Take your time. <laughs> No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. An excellent choice. Farewell, and do think of us again.
first assignment. Ashworth, curator of the Royal Conservatory. For a while, I've believed Ashworth has some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracular Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. Officer came by and said it was fine. He looked at the wall of light, then climbed up to check the windmill. All good. Why? Yesterday, the wind kicked up so hard I thought the windmill was gonna fall apart. The wall of light was flickering and sparking like crazy. I've seen that too. But whale oil's expensive now, and the tanks run dry. The wind's unpredictable, but it's still better than a bunch of howlers running through the checkpoint in night. Yeah, I see your point. You look great. Enrico said to give you his regards. That donkey-faced Cretan can open his wrist for all I care. Did you bring me something? The silver cigarette case, like we agreed? No, listen. I can't go on doing this. Stealing for you. I'll lose my job. 
this shuddering city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated baker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But, just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that, never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well. The Royal Conservatory. What do those walls hide? Oh, 
Somebody's packing weapons. <laughs> We're playing dice tonight. You win? Nah. Not this time. The conservatory. I wanted to visit this place with Wyman. Poor Lucinda. She wanted to raise the blood fire, but cannot. After trying to make great rounds for weeks, she gave up. You should have seen the twisted things she made. All snouts and teeth and tails. That's just the way it is, dear Pamelia. Delilah wears the outsider's mark, and some of what she can do flows down to us. It doesn't seem fair. Think about working your fingers raw, weaving nets, or raising cows to slaughter. Any of the gifts we receive is better than living under the boot. That's true and fine. A wise way to look at things. But it won't help Lucinda rise any higher in Delilah's favor. I'm told he's a gibbering idiot now. I don't know, Delilah. Forgive me. No, my dear. It's a loss. But I doubt he had anything more to give us. Sokolov was taken away as well. Who would want that ancient fool? Never mind. How goes the communion? I am hungry to whisper into the ears of the oracular sisters. My influence grows. Last night, I walked through a dream with one of them, and we drank from a fountain in the town where she was born. 
The Vice Overseer Burns' suspicions were right. No. He continued to tinker with the lenses. Thicker, thinner, more opaque. It was tiresome to watch. I still have the old lenses and cast off parts piled in my workshop. But Jindash finished some time ago. The rest is up to me, learning to use the machine. The tricky thing, touching the void through such a device. Blood and biscuits. I look forward to using it myself once you're ready. Will you visit soon? Perhaps. Dunwall Tower is mostly in hand. The High Overseer won't be a problem anymore. And there's the matter of my own project. I grow more excited with each brushstroke. When I come to Karnaka, we'll drink an ocean of good wine and stay tight as a boiled owl. I look forward to it. For now, I need your eyes on the Duke. At least until we have the sisters under control. There's no one else I trust. I'll reach out to you again on the morrow. Farewell. Goodbye, Dylan. My Empress. These odd lenses might be linked to what Ashworth is working on. If I can sabotage Ashworth's communion device, she'll be powerless. Looks like Kieran Jindosh made these alternate lenses for Ashworth's device. Now I can use them to sabotage it. Servant. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. So this could be tampered with. Ashworth could be cut off from the void entirely. No more witchcraft. All that's left to do is hit the switch, and Ashworth should be powerless. of the void. The Lila. It was everything I had. What would you and father advise if you were both here? Sometimes I dream we're all together again. A 
As if you could ever hide your face from me, Emily. Little Black Sparrow, free from your cage at last. It's done. Brianna Ashworth is no longer a witch. You villain! You don't even know what you've done. A great bloom wilts and fades from the world. Delilah, I will take apart everything you've built until I have what's mine. Oh, Brianna. I don't believe we will speak again. The thought of seeing you reduced to such a pale, sad thing. It's too much to bear. I hate you for this, child. I'm not only going to restore things to the way they were, I'm going to make them better. Ashworth's journal might tell me more about why Delilah can't be killed. Thank you. 
Grand Circoning Guard. Let me answer all of this trap around. What a pleasant surprise to see you again. Welcome back. I see you found the prototype. Your acquaintance didn't make it. It is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not dwell. I expect you'll be interested in payment. First your finder's fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype, something you can use to modify your tools. And as a token of my appreciation, a discount at the shop. A fair deal. What a pleasant surprise to see you again. Ah, you want blueprints for better weaponry. No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. An excellent choice. Please, visit again soon. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. Oh, right, Megan. Thank you for opening up. If only a little. I'm starting to feel like you deserve it. Are you ready to leave now? Yes. Let's go. Take me back to the Dreadful Whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos. And Delilah. <laughs> 